Bleach PC here. Update on the MTDA tractor. Uh, this tire no longer holds air. I don't want to put slime in it because that's a temporary fix. So I went and uh, bought a used tire from my friend. We took it off the old rim. I was hoping to get a rim that would just mount onto the tractor. And uh, M Steel is right. These off. Uh, MTDs are hard to get off. I soaked that in PB Blaster. And I can even uh, get it off. So I don't know why I'm making a video about a tire. Most of you will see them and know what tires look like. Yes, I'm just pretty bored. Figure I talk tractor crap with you guys. Ah, uh, that video I made of it cutting the front grass. The tire shortly went flat after that. I fixed the flat in it so much it can't hold any more. Fix the flat anymore. Ah, uh, also the the engine skips a little bit, so the. Uh, Governor arm needs to be adjusted. Either that or the spy one, or we'll just rig it to work. The simplicity tire, uh, and on uh, the front left, you can see it there. Doesn't hold air. Rather than slime it, I uh, bought a new tire for it. Yeah, guys, I messed up. I buy a new tire for the simplicity tractor, and I use for this. This is the newest tire on it. I. Eh? And uh, people do this at Walmart for me years ago. So hold there. So uh, the 60s mower right there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. The uh, 1960 uh, Toro that'll get worked on soon. This is on the back burner. I just want to show you here quick. For the life of me, I can't get the solenoid off of it. I tried and I tried. And you can't see it now, but trust me, you can't get it off. I guess this is it. I'm gonna let you go. I'll just show you a little more of this thing. Oh yeah. Be amazing if it run 1960s mower. I don't know anything about it. My friend's gonna help me fix it rather than my hands touch it. We'll probably have to take the wheels off the side of it and oil it, grease it, whatever it needs. Ah, uh, figured out how to rewire this thing, I think. I watched Fearless Front's video uh, several times, and yeah, rewire the simplicity, and uh, I think I got the hang of it. He explains it pretty well. I looked at my wiring diagram to where the, the wires go for the keys, which is pretty straightforward. So my plan is either to rip the whole wiring harness out and uh, fix it. I believe I narrowed it down to the wire that's got the short in it because the rest of them work. And uh, the wire that I wire narrow down the short to goes into the to the plug of one of the wires that are connected to the solenoid. So I believe that's supposed to be there to start it, and that's why I can't start it with the key because it has a short in it. The kill switch does work on the mower. The reason why I cut into it is because I uh, couldn't not uh, get it to turn off or uh, get it to start with the key. But when I hit it, the solenoid with a screwdriver, and then I turned the key off, it turned off. So, go oh, figure, my junk don't work. Ah, uh, got what I wanted out of the garage as a trash pickup. Probably could have got a little more, but yeah. Um, I guess this is it. I'm going to let you guys go. Please comment and subscribe. Another boring video about a tire and rambling brought to you by a bleach PC, Mike. You guys take care. I'll let you go. I'm going to go watch me some Doctor Who on BBC America. Oh, yeah, guys, we love the Doctor Who. In uh, Orphan Black, that other show with the, the girl that has several clones of herself. I don't know what to think of it, but I've been watching it. It's on American BBC. Doctor Who at 8, and then Orphan Black at 9. You guys take care. Goodbye.